So we started it about two years ago. The, the whole thing kicked off when uh, Dr. Scott Gleason uh, gave this presentation uh, about the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge. To see it from the little idea that I kicked back off in December 2010, that uh, it survived so well and grew so well, and that the students really came together at key times and got the job done. We got really excited. We are like, we might be able to build something to send to space. Most of the congratulations deserves to go to the students, rightly. They did most of the work. And except for myself, everyone else was doing it completely for free, coming in day in, day out, working on the satellite, just hoping that we can build something like this and, and get it launched into space. As you can imagine, it's a very violent process to put something on a rocket and then have it blast off the Earth. It had to be very tough and sturdy, and at the same time, we had to keep it lightweight. And so we did a lot of work designing and uh, simulating and doing analysis just to ensure that it's able to withstand this. And our hard work was confirmed later when we did testing at the David Florida Laboratory in Ottawa. This is our satellite and uh, it's made out of aluminum. As you can see it's black. This is because of the hard anodized coating that we've used. It serves two main purposes to control the temperature exchange of the satellite. It is also impregnated with Teflon, which helps the satellite slide out of the launch vehicle. The antenna is uh, mounted on two Teflon pieces, and uh, we use it to communicate with the ground station and send the information gathered from the sensors. So in space, we hope to analyze the properties of the South Atlantic anomaly, which is this yellow region on the map. It contains high energy particles, which is dangerous for uh, airplanes. What happens is when aircraft pass through it, it causes uh, electronic equipment malfunction. What we're trying to do is take a, a small uh, CubeSat with commercial off-the-shelf electronics and do somewhat of a sophisticated analysis of its properties. Our driving goal was to be the first Quebec University in space, and now we're quite far along the path of accomplishing that. Uh, we just get, need to get it launched now.